Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 15 iPhone features that you probably have been using the wrong way this whole time. These are very useful features that most likely a lot of people use on a daily basis, but most of us probably didn't know how to use them the correct way and of course, take more advantage of these features by using them correctly. Now, another feature you should use correctly right now is the like button of this video. That helps out a lot. So of course, I would really, really appreciate it if you could leave a like on this video. We're starting things off with live text, the new iOS 15 feature, which is really great. And a lot of people actually use it and find it very, very useful. Now, when you want to insert a text, of course, you can just tap the live text button anywhere on a note or a message anywhere you want, and you will get right here the camera. So it replaces your keyboard, but it's kind of hard to actually align this with the text because you have the camera down here and you have the camera up there on your iPhone. Now, the correct way to use this is just swipe up like this and you you get the full screen camera and now you will be able to actually much much easier scan any text you want and of course insert it any way you want now of course you can also use this on the landscape mode if you have like bigger text or something that makes it really really easy to scan any text you want Next up, we're talking about notifications. So let's say you're getting a ton of notifications from an app. Maybe you have just posted something on a social media or something like that. You just want to turn off those notifications and not get them on your screen the whole time. What you would do, maybe just go to the notification settings and turn off notifications for that app. That is of course the wrong way because then you might forget those notifications turned off or you will have to go back and turn them on again. The correct way to do that on iOS 15, all you gotta do is just swipe from the right to the left on any notification of an app, tap on options, and now you will actually get the option to mute those notifications. And once you get the options here, you can see you'll have mute for one hour or mute for today. You tap right there and you're good to go. You won't be getting notifications from that app for one hour. After an hour, of course, you get you again go ahead and receive notifications from that app. The app switcher, again, a very simple feature. Most people use it wrong all the time. There's a reason why it is called the app switcher. It is meant to be used only to switch between apps not to close the apps that you have opened in the background. That's actually the wrong way to use the app switcher. All you have to do here is just use this to switch between different apps that you have opened on your device. iOS will manage those apps automatically. You don't have to close them. Closing those apps will basically just do not do any good at all to your device. You will have your device will have to actually reload those apps anytime you want to open them back again. So Closing the apps from the app switcher is wrong. The app switcher is meant only to switch between apps. So leave the apps here. They won't do any damage to your device, won't consume battery. You will have them ready to switch to that app whenever you need it. Everything will be automatically be dealt by iOS. So you don't have to actually close the apps from the app switcher. Another feature that we have been using, of course, for years now on iOS, when we want to move an app, of course, we drag it, place it here and wait to go to the next page. That's actually not the correct way to use this. What you gotta do when you want to move an app, of course, you drag the app and then you can just go ahead and swipe like this to move between pages and then you simply release the app wherever you want to release it. That's the correct way to move an app on the, apps, uh, on the iPhone's home screen. When changing the volume of your device with the volume buttons, you will get this volume HUD right here. You just gotta know that whenever this pops up, you know that you're only changing the media volume. So videos and music, whatever you're playing on your device, that's the volume that is being changed, not the ringer volume. Now the correct way to change the ringer volume is by going to settings, go to sounds and haptics, and here's where you can change the ringer volume. Or if you enable this feature right here, then you will be able to do that also with the buttons, but that will change the ringer volume when you don't have any media playing. Whenever you have media playing on your device, you will still just change the media volume. So when you get this ringer, this pop-up right there, that's when you're changing the ringer volume. And when you get the volume hood right here on the left side, that's when you're changing the media volume. Another cool feature that Apple has added to iOS 14, and of course it has been even improved with iOS 15, is the ability to edit the pages on your home screen. But let's say we go to the home pages right here, and I wanna remove that one, but I'm not sure which apps I really have on that page, so 
let's just go ahead and try to look at those apps i swipe up or click click done right there it takes me to the home screen i will have to swipe like this to go to that page the correct way to do this you go ahead and simply tap on that page and it takes you directly there you can take a look at the apps that you have on that page before removing or deleting those apps from the home screen when playing a video with the default video player of ios you will have the volume right there now let's say you, you want to quickly turn down the volume you would press this continuously of course the volume down button but the correct way to do that is not using the volume buttons all you have to do is just tap on that little icon right there and you can right away mute the volume of the video that's really really cool and of course very very useful at the same time or if you want to scrub you can see right here this is a large video so if i just swipe like this just a bit it will just like skip four or five minutes now the easy way to do this and of course just scrub slowly is just by swiping up your finger and adjusting the scrubbing speed right there you can see now how slow it will actually scrub so it's just seconds and i have already moved my finger to the right side all the way but if i do that from here you can see it will do it much much faster as i move up my finger it does it really really slow if you're someone that uses voice control on your iphone make sure you're not using it all alone like this so if you go under accessibility and then you go ahead and enable voice control don't just enable voice control also make sure that you have attention aware enabled what this does this will turn off voice control when you're not looking at your phone now voice control of course requires cpu power and battery as well so you don't want to have it on all the time if you have attention aware enabled then voice control basically will be turned off automatically you can see right there is now off when you're not taking a look at your phone once you're looking at your phone it will automatically be turned on again of course nowadays most phones will have face id if you have face id set up like this like i do right now you're using it wrong you need to set up an alternate appearance what this does it will help your iphone recognize your face faster and will also improve the unlocking speed of your iphone by having an alternate appearance entered here your iphone will recognize you much much faster that way the unlocking speed will be much much better a feature that i have seen on multiple videos on youtube and if you're doing it i'm telling you right now you're doing it wrong like a lot of people have posted about this how to increase the volume of your device that doesn't actually work so if you go under accessibility and go right here to audio and visuals you will have headphone accommodations you enable this and then you will have the slider if you like swipe to the strong side right there you will increase the volume of your device that's wrong that's not what it does it will actually increase the volume of the headphone sound not the iphone so only on the headphones not on the iphone speaker so if you've done this and you're not your intention is not to use it with the headphones just know that it won't work with the iphone speaker the app library is another great feature that apple has added to ios 14 even though ios 15 didn't come with any changes on the app library it's still a pretty good feature so if you go to the app library and you're trying to search for an app and you're scrolling like this that's not the right way and the quickest way to do it all you gotta do is just tap on the letters right there so let's say i'm searching for an app that starts with the letter e i just tap on the e right there and right away it will take me right to that app that i need that's the correct way to do it by just tapping right here on the letters to which app you want to go we're moving on to the settings app and let's go to safari here so if you go under the safari settings you will actually have here an option to block all cookies if you have this enabled then you're actually doing it wrong now most websites will use cookies to actually give you a better experience when searching and of course surfing that website that will make your experience using that website much much smoother so blocking all cookies is not really that good not a great idea the only thing i would do is of course use the hide ip address from trackers feature and i wouldn't actually enable block all cookies from all websites because that actually helps the website give you a much better experience when you're actually using the website another feature that has to do with notifications and that's the mute button how many times have you been listening to music you have your iphone connected 
to your car maybe or in, on a Bluetooth speaker or something like that, you get notifications and your music gets interrupted all the time when you get a notification and of course you get those like loud notification sounds on your music. Now the way to stop those is just turning on the mute switch on your iPhone and then of course the music will keep playing but it won't be interrupted by the notifications coming in. And last but not least we're going to the widgets now every time you want to add a widget of course you go to the widget you want to add you tap here and it will just jump at the top of the page where you want to place it that way of course will mess up all of your apps and everything you have there the right way to do that tap and hold here and then just swipe down and you will be on the home screen and you have your widget here now i can go ahead and place this wherever i want i don't have to leave it like on automatic just to jump at the top of the page i can just go ahead and move it around and place it in the exact spot i want to have it so that's basically it for this video guys thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video and the tips that you saw on this video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more i will see you guys on the next video